My name is Michael Gray. I'm a singer-songwriter uh, based out of Boise, Idaho. I remember very early on uh, realizing the power of music. I grew up in a Christian home and every Sunday we would go to church. And I remember uh, hearing these songs of celebration and very upbeat songs and seeing how people responded to them and how it changed their mood. And songs that were more somber, people became more introspective. I realized very early on that music has the power to change someone's mood or even change their life. One thing I did notice though growing up in the church was that uh, most of these songs spoke about hope and promise and victory and going through my teenage years and into early adulthood those were songs I didn't always relate to. Things that I was struggling with personally, um, things that I was dealing with, they seemed too far uh, down the, the scope of hope for me to really connect with. And I always wondered why there weren't more songs that just dealt with the struggle that is to be human. And um, somewhere around sixth grade, I began to write songs. Um, well, I tried to write songs. I wrote really bad songs. But I was always very fascinated by the human struggle and um, had no idea how to write music or put music to songs, but I knew that I wanted to be a songwriter. I felt very compelled to, to write lyrics. And to write songs. So I picked up the guitar somewhere around my freshman year and uh, began to learn some basic chords and uh, started to put some things together, uh, some music that I could put song lyrics to, and I've been doing that ever since. So I had a very hard time um, through different times in my life connecting with those songs of hope, and I found myself connecting and resonating more with songs that uh, just talked about kind of the human struggle, things like abuse or depression or even heartache, those were the things I connected with a lot. And I didn't connect with them because they reaffirmed how I felt, but I connected with them because I felt like I'm not alone. Someone out there gets this. This person who wrote this song, yeah, they, they know how I'm feeling. And I became very uh, interested and intrigued with that concept. And the more I wrote, and as it became a little bit of a better songwriter, the more I kind of dove into just that human struggle. The title of this upcoming album is Songs for the Dying, and I realize that can sound a little bit depressing and sound like maybe it's sort of a very dark album. People could maybe argue that, I wholeheartedly disagree. Um, the concept is that in some ways we are all dying, or at least at points in our lives have been. Abuse, depression, addiction, loneliness, things like that that have brought darkness and, and death into our lives. And so these songs are for anyone who has experienced them. I truly believe that um, even if the genre of music isn't something that, that you would necessarily listen to on your own, that lyric-wise, content-wise, there will be something for just about everyone where they can say, yeah, I remember feeling that way, or yeah, this guy understands how I feel. And that's my hope with this album is that for people who necessarily aren't maybe ready for songs of hope, who aren't living beyond some of these things that they've dealt with and struggled with, that, that they will find identity and that they will feel like, yeah, this, this guy gets it. He knows how I feel and I'm, I'm not alone. So the exciting thing about doing this um, fundraising through Indiegogo is that you, my friends and family, and those of you who have followed my music and, and believe in it, is that you get to join me in the process. And I'm very excited about that. Um, we've got quite a ways down the road so far. We have a long ways to go before this album is released. And um, at this point, continued funding is needed. And I'm very excited um, that you get to be a part of that. And there are a few ways that you can do that. One is that you can contribute financially to the campaign. Um, another way is simply sharing the message that this album is happening, whether it's through Facebook or Twitter or an email list, or send it along to a friend that you uh, feel may benefit from hearing the content of these songs. Uh, whatever it is, spreading the word is a huge part of this, and uh, that alone uh, would be incredibly helpful. So thank you for however you choose to be a part of this. Uh, I really appreciate it. And um, we'll see you soon with an album.